Many of you have asked me to make a video on how classes are like at the University of Phoenix, what the assignments are, how many questions are on the quizzes and tests, and this is perfect because in this vlog I'm going to go in details on how classes are like, especially since I have not started on any of my assignments this week. So let's go! Okay, once you log on to your class, it's obviously going to tell you your name, it's going to tell you the class that you are taking, uh, who your professor is, when the class starts, and when it ends. So you're gonna go to my class. And so here's the platform. So um, here's the syllabus, here's the course guide, just telling you on what the class is going to be about. If you have any questions to your professor or if you want help from your classmates, um, this is where you would go, course questions. So since these classes are only six weeks long, each week it's gonna go through a specific topic, so on and so forth. So for example, if you click on week one, it's going to give you week one overview on what the topics will be about. Um, since it is week one, this is where you kind of just talk about yourself and get to know each other. And this is where the assignment starts. So this is the discussion. So you'll go through a question and then you'll answer to two other students. The next one over is the connect assignment. So this is where you do some reading and some questions. And this here is either a quiz or a test. And this assignment called Apply is a project. So since I already completed week one, we're going to start week two because I have not started on it. So this is how classes work. So you're gonna be assigned all of these assignments starting on Tuesday and everything is due on Monday. So you have one week to complete everything. So for week two, let's go ahead and just check out the overview so you can check it out. So once you click on it, it's going to give you a whole overview on what the chapter will be about. So this is the first assignment, which is the discussion. So let's go ahead and click on it. So this is a topic that you'll have to reply back to. So sometimes they'll list a few questions here and you'll go ahead and answer them as much as possible. So you'll go ahead and write your answer here and you have to make sure that you have a minimum of 175 words, which is not too bad. So this girl here already wrote her answer to the questions and there's other people that will also do the same. And after you are done answering the question, you're going to reply to two students right here on reply and you're just gonna talk about whatever they had replied back with and just to prove that I have not worked on the assignments right here you see my name no responses no replies is the professor so that's why she has so many responses that replies so check it out so as you can see other students they go ahead and write the response to the question and then they reply to five others or three others two others two is the minimum um, five is a uh, overachiever but still you get the same points as if you were to do two or five but yeah that's great don't be this guy okay so yeah this is how one of the assignments work from there we're gonna go ahead and go on the connect assignment so this is chapter 15 and 16 and on here you have two connect assignments usually these are very time-consuming so let's click on one so I can show you here on the right side it says due date the year 2029 but that's not true it's actually uh, a week later when the assignment is opened so we'll go ahead and click launch not lunch though I wish so here's the assignment there's 10 possible points so let's click begin so here if you want to learn more you start the reading so let's just go to the reading and this is how it will open up uh, so this is chapter 15, Technology, R&D, and Efficiency. And so it just gives you an overview of the chapter. You're going to go ahead and read as much as possible. Here we'll go quickly through the pages so you can see. It's, it's usually a lot of reading, but it's very beneficial. After you are done reading, you're going to go here below where it says two questions. So here are the questions. You have 26 concepts to complete. So even though it says 26, it doesn't mean there's 26 questions. Even though it says 26 concepts, this is about like maybe 50 questions, but it also depends on if you get the questions right or wrong. The good thing about this is that you don't really have to be scared if you are wrong because it's going to keep asking the same question if you get it wrong. And so for example, this is the question and let's say you forgot what this was because you read the chapter a couple days ago. The good thing is that here it says read about the concept. So this is gonna take you directly to the question. So here it talks about 
exactly what the question's about. So it's usually on where it takes you. If not, you're just gonna have to go through the page and just go through it. Once you are done, you're gonna go to two questions. So for this question, even though if you read it and you still don't get it, um, it doesn't hurt to just guess because you can always learn from this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this. And here below it says rate your confidence to submit your answer. So let's say you really knew that this is the correct answer. You're gonna click high. If you're not so sure, you're gonna click medium. If you're unsure, click low. But um, I'm very confident, so I always click high. There you go, so it says correct. Also, if you get the question wrong, it's going to give you the correct answer, but it's also going to give you a brief description on why it's the wrong answer and why this is the right answer. So after you do that, you're going to go ahead and click the next question. And see, even though I got the question correctly, it still says right here, 0 out of 26. So here's the next question. I'm just going to go ahead and click high. See, so for example, this, I did get it wrong. It's invention. Um, usually it tells you why the question, why this is correct but um, I'm not sure why it didn't say it this time but usually it will tell you why the answer is invention and not innovation also don't be scared if you hit next question and then there's the same question um, sometimes they like to repeat the question so that way they know that you are understanding the concepts these here are a little difficult sometimes because you have to fill in the blank so there's always fill in the blank and multiple choice so here it says this question I'm gonna click here because I haven't read it because I'm showing you guys how this works so I, I it's right here it usually kind of lists the same thing but um, let's give it a go and my confidence is really high there you go correct answer and the good thing is that you don't have to always stay on these questions um, you can always leave your assignment whenever you want and it will leave off to where you were at so here you click exit assignment exit and it's going to take you out so obviously you're going to answer that and then you're going to go to the next connect assignment which is chapter 16 and it's the same thing that i just showed you so let's click this up this one here is usually a test or a quiz so this here is exactly how the quiz or the test works they're going to give you a question a lot of it is always multiple choice so always make sure to do the reading as much as possible because these questions are sometimes a little bit more difficult for me and here i will show you the rest of the questions so these are the questions Usually these questions, there are about 7 to 10 questions and then after you are done, you're going to hit submit. After you hit submit, it's going to tell you exactly the grade that you got. Okay, great. So that's this part here. Uh, the next one is called apply. So apply is the project. So let me just show you what the projects consist of. Okay, so here it is. They call it usually the exam content, so it's more of an exam, but I call it a project because it takes a lot of work. So for this project, it tells you exactly what to do. So it'll say select one of the economic concentrations below. So you're gonna pick one of these, and then you're gonna write about 700 to 1,050 word paper. Here's a few questions that can help you and just other bullet points to just help you on your paper so you're able to write enough words for this exam or project so yeah it tells you exactly what to do so here you select one of these here you're gonna write what this is about here it usually tells you where you should get your resources from you're gonna cite your sources how to format your paper and then you're gonna submit your assignment so usually I do my assignment on word document Usually it will tell you to make a PowerPoint, so it will literally tell you here somewhere, make sure it's a PowerPoint presentation. But for example, for this, if it's writing, usually I always do Microsoft Word. So after I'm done writing it on Microsoft Word, I'm gonna grab the file, insert it in here, um, then you click outside of the box and it's gonna like process and convert the file so it can fit in here. And then you're gonna go ahead and click submit somewhere that it shows here when you submit it. and that's it, then you'll get an email on your school email saying that you submitted your assignment. And here on the right side, it tells you um, how many points it consists of. And on the top right, as you can see, it's actually due tomorrow. It's due tomorrow at 10.59, and today is actually February 20th, so I still have one more day to do it. 
And this here just goes more in detail of the presentation of chapter 15 and 16. I actually never really look at these because usually the reading is enough. So here this is all practice. This is zero points. So it's going to go ahead and just give you like a whole PowerPoint presentation. I have heard it actually it's more helpful because there is someone reading it to you and helping you understand it. But I like going at my own pace so that's why I like reading it on my own. So that's it for week two. And just to kind of show you that the rest of the weeks are the same, as you can see week three is going to be the same thing as I showed you earlier. It's going to give you an overview on what the topics will be about. It has discussion, so you're going to do the same thing, answer the question, and you're going to reply back to two students. You're going to work on your connect assignments. Here there are two of them because there's two chapters. You're going to do the quiz or the test, and then another project or exam content. And it will be like that for the rest of the weeks. So as I showed you, the process for the assignments are the same every single week and for each class it's pretty much the same. This being my fifth class, it's all the same template, same process, and it's actually very beneficial to know that because it helps you kind of uh, manage life and school because you already know what's ahead of you. I hope this video helped you understand how the classes work at the University of Phoenix, but if you have any other questions about the school or assignments or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below and I'll answer them super fast. Alright guys, so that's the end of this MBA vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more vlogs and weekly MBA vlogs and I will see you guys tomorrow.